Example number three. Teddy's friend Jacob spends five-eighths of his homework time doing math problems. Write five-eighths as a decimal and as a percent. For Just to look at this, we have five-eighths and three-eighths. So if, if I was to split this in half, I'd be at 50%. Five-eighths is not 50%. Four-eighths would be 50%. So we know if to get an answer, we know our answer should be a more than 50. That's just an indicator. And some you all can do to see if you're doing these problems right. So we're at five eighths, right? So I'll put five in here and I'll put eight on the outside. Eight's not going to go into five, so that's zero. Put a decimal down. Eight is going to go into 50 um, six times. Eight times six is 48. We're going to get a 2 and bring this down. 8 is going to go into 22 times because 8 times 2 is 16. So I can minus those out and get a 4. And 8 is going to go into 45 times. 8 times 5 is 40. And then we'll get 0, and that tells me to stop. So I've written my answer as a decimal. Now to turn this into a percent, we'll rewrite it. We'll move it one, two, so it's going to land right between the six, or sorry, right between the two and the five. So it's 62.5%. And some people may write this as 62.5% because we know the decimal one half is the same as 0.5. Okay, but you're more than likely going to see an answer in this form.